And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time Power Cookie, a web exploitation uh, challenge. It has the tag cookie description. Can you get the flag? Go to this website and see what you can discover. Hints, do you know how to modify cookies? All right, lots of hints here. This is gonna involve cookies. Let's start off by inspecting the page. Let's take a look at all the source, see if there's anything interesting here. Immediately I see there's a guest.js and not much else. If we go to sources, we can open up guest.js and we see that there's this check.php location and that we set a cookie. The cookie has the key of is admin and it has the value of zero. Zero normally means false. Let's go ahead and let's click through and let's see what happens. There are no guest services available at this time. We can check our cookie value by going under application, cookies, and then the specific site we're on. And we can see that is admin is set to zero like we expect. We can modify it here. One is normally the true value. Let's go ahead and let's send a request across. What's happening is with our request, we put cookies in the header. So if we open up the network tab, we'll be able to observe this now. We should see it near the top. Obviously we got the flag, but more interestingly is let's, let's figure out what happened. So our request headers, we expect that to have a cookie in it and it does. It has the cookie is admin equal to one, which causes the server to act differently. Let's go ahead and submit this and let's quickly talk about cookies and how to be secure. The number one thing is if you're the server, you don't want to rely on anything the client gives you for your state. It's okay if, for example, on like a login, you were to set something like a client unique ID, you know, so imagine they give you the password, they log in, and then you give them some super long random value and you pass that, they pass that back to you every time they make a request and that's how you know, for example, this is Mike or this is Jeff Bezos or whoever. That's okay because it's such a large random value that they're unlikely just changing it to collide with someone else and to become that user. But when you start storing state, like for example, if it was not just unique ID, but if there was also username and you set that to Mike, for example, and then I could just change this and you trusted it. And I could say, I'm Jeff Bezos. And then I could start spending Jeff Bezos's money on useful things rather than all the crap he spends it on. Then that'd be a really bad thing from an application standpoint, not from a society standpoint, obviously. So the correct way to do this is everything should be opaque. If you're going to store any state on the client's side, what you'd want to do is you would want to uh, encrypt and sign the value. This would this would not be apparent what it is, or or you could even you could say that it was a username, but it would be encrypted and signed. And then on the server side, they would validate the signature. And so if you were to just change it, pretend this is encryption and not just me banging on the keyboard, if you were to change some element of this value, you wouldn't be able, one, to figure out what exactly you're changing, and two, you wouldn't be able to pass a signature check. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Bye.